this time of year, the Upper West Side, Broadway in particular, is just crowded with Christmas trees. Of course, the Upper West Side of Manhattan is one of the most densely Jewish populations in the world. So why do I celebrate the smell of the fir tree and the Christmas trees? Because we live in a society where Jews are in fact a minority. We know that whether we like it or not, even here on the Upper West Side. And when we celebrate Hanukkah, an otherwise minor festival in the Jewish year, we are competing in some way with Christmas. I remember 30 years ago when I was spending an academic sabbatical at the University of Cambridge and my then three-year-old daughter came home from her daycare center singing a Christmas carol. Since the head of the daycare was the granddaughter of the former chief rabbi of England, I was a little surprised. But she explained that England was a Christian country and so they learned Christmas carols. I can only infer that the Christmas carol was something like Mary Mary had a baby boy. But my daughter, who grew up on the Upper West Side, came home and told me the song she learned went, Mary Mary had a baby, oi. Mary Mary had a baby, oi. Well, this was funny, but still opposite to the season. In fact, it's so opposite to the season that when we light Hanukkah candles in my house, at the end of the lighting, we say a little kavanah, a little prayer that tells us that we're not allowed to use these candles for anything. The reason we light the candles is to remember the miracle, so that we can know what God did for us then. As that kavanah goes, it ends as follows. V'chol shemonat yemei Chanukah hanei rotalalu kodesh heim that for all days, all eight days of Chanukah, these candles, these lights, they are holy. Ve'ein lana reshut lehishtamesh bahem we have no permission to use them. Rather, ele lirotam belvad we can only look at them. But in my house, this is how we sing it. Ve'ein lana reshut lehishtamesh bahem to which I say to all of us in America, Happy Hanukkah.